and then I stuck them on. And I haven't, I wore them for the Gaga concert, but I haven't worn them since. Um, wow, painting upright feels weird. Okay, so I have a few things I gotta work on. Not like I have to work on, but like there's a few, there's a few things. Um... I wanted to outline this just to see if I liked it more. If it was like black outline, a bit puffy, but not too bad. I'm glad you're good. Macatee's ice cream is something that Jabber has unfortunately informed us about and I will never recover. Um, it's just, I'm, I'm sad that it, to know that it exists. I could have gone my whole life not knowing and living in bliss, but if I have to know, thanks to Jabber, you guys also have to know. So yes, mac and cheese ice cream apparently exists somewhere, or at least it did. Jabber said they don't seem to sell it now, and honestly, it's probably for the best. Sweet corn ice cream. That's some like jelly bean ass shit. Oh. Oh, all right. Is it someone's dog? No, it's just a random dogger. I just really like Dobermans. So I haven't done art in a bit. It's been like a few weeks since I've like actually like painted, painted or anything. So last night I decided to do some pen drawings and I just decided to draw some puppers. So this is what I did last night. And I'm just kind of like, I guess trying to clean it up right now. I wanted to like paint over this dog, but now I don't know if I don't like them or not. And that feels kind of rude. So I'm just gonna go around them. I don't know, I haven't decided. Now they have gray Poupon ice cream. What the fuck is that? Hi Fanch! My life is worse knowing that info. I'm sorry. I thought I used to have a Doberman in the 80s. Honestly, vibe. I love the look. I always paint them with their ears up, but I don't really know if I should dislike that or not. Cause I used to be, not used to be, but like I had a boxer and her tail was docked. But then, like, when I had that pipple, like, when I found... Hi, Crow! Thank you! Um, when I found that pipple on the street last year, and I, like, watched them for, like, the few days, I've never had a pipple, like, I mean, like, I lived with one, but, like, I never, like, had, like, a puppy pipple, and he... His tail was so fucking strong. He was hitting it on the walls and bleeding everywhere because his tail was just like, I don't know. He was so excited to wag his tail. His tail was fucking bleeding. That shit was terrifying. So I'm like, okay, I kind of get like maybe people do things for the dog. So I don't really know. I don't, I'm not educated enough. But I love when their ears are up and I know that they have to do like the wrapping and stuff. So I don't, I don't know if it's like cruel or fucked up or something. I have no idea. Also, I think that I shouldn't like pit bulls when they have their ears clipped, but I think it's so cute when they got the little stubbies. I, 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 I love spiky ears. I'm only hungry. I have a Doberman lab mix without docked ears and have had had to have part of her nose removed due to a tumor not exactly the picture perfect dobby but the best what's um what's her name i think they clipped their ears up so then they can stick up and hear better yeah i wasn't sure if it was just like 
cosmetic or if there was like a reason for it. But usually when I draw them, I draw them with their ears up. Because I just like the... I like the bat look to it. Pity tails feel like getting hit with a bat? No, that thing felt like a whip, man. That shit was... I remember the one morning I like woke up and the pity was like... Because I found a pit on the street and I was like trying to find its owner for a few days. So I had him for a bit and like I woke up one morning and there was just like blotches of blood all over me because he had like ripped his tail open and then was just like hitting things. So I just had like little dots of blood like all over. Poor baby. Welcome back. Thank you, Hugo. How are you? Hi, Beastie. Her name is Zombie. That's so cute. And then she got a little nose piece missing. She probably looks like a cute little zombie. I think that you are just cosmetic. I can see why clipping the tails could be helpful to prevent future breaks and injuries. Yeah, I tried to wrap that tail. I tried to, like, wrap it so it, it like, he couldn't hurt it or, like, it wouldn't bleed all over. And it just kept falling off because the tail was just, like, so thin and narrow and, like, the wags were so intense and I was like oh okay I kind of get the tail thing now like I don't know if that's the reason everyone does it but like okay will you do more ballpoint pen drawings um probably but I feel like I might not do it on stream because like painting or drawing upright like this is rough like, I don't think I want to, I don't know. I think I like painting upright more than I like drawing upright. And this right now feels like drawing because I'm trying to do like clean lines. I saw a German Shepherd t yesterday. It was so floofy and had one ear up, one ear down. The combos are my favorite because I, I love when ears are, are satellites and I also love when they're floppy. So it's like the best of both fucking worlds. That's why Conan is so cute because he got one of each. I know a pity that has one up, one down, and she's so cute. I think there's a picture of her on my neon page. Her name's Chicken. She's wild. Eat. Yeah, her name's Chicken. <laughs> Gonzo from the Muppets. <laughs> When my Doberman got his ears and tail clipped, he also fell and broke his leg. So then my dog looks like a Franken weenie. <laughs> oh, bandaged. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Poor baby. Definitely probably had the cone of shame, huh? Definitely probably. I'm good with words. Hi, Lunar. I have a Jack Russell and his ears are so pointy. We love to see it. Uh, does he have like the little eyebrows? Ah! Those are some solid pupsters. Can't stay many errands of nice stream sem and chat. That's a lot of biddies, Matt. Thank you. Hi, Matt. Bye, Matt. I hope errands go well. Hi. Bye. I was creeping on Matt um, earlier. I noticed you weren't home, but I didn't know where you were. <laughs> Glad to see you back painting. I don't really want to watch another painter. BC, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Bitties all around. All around. All around. Thank you, Hugo, for the biddies. Oh, this is so hard to paint. Also, I'm not using like a good brush right now. Like the bristles are kind of all over the place. Ugh. 
about a 35 millimeter film canon i've been looking for slide mounts and frames for your prints but i gotta do other stuff too wait slide mounts for the camera oh i did give you a bunch of prints matt got a lot of prints when he was at my my place forgot about that you got, you got a lot of work to do. This is random, but Nelly comes to the mall I work at all the time. It's funny because in 2022, people don't go crazy fangirl over him anymore. That's so funny. Honestly, I would still be wearing a Band-Aid if I was him. I opened my drink and haven't had any of it yet. I like other painters, however, I enjoy. I want to watch you and hang a chat. Watch mates troll scare you with bits is also funny. He do be scaring me. Um, I appreciate you being here, BC. Oh my god, there's so much art I have to do, and I really like don't have to be doing this right now, which is making me more anxious about doing it because I just want to get it done. Um. All right, so I kind of I got commissioned by my friend to make something for them. So I figured I will work on it on stream because there's just like one thing left that I have to do for it. So I'm going to do that after this. And then I was supposed to be working on Alphabet April this month, but this month has been very chaotic. Did not account for getting sick and my teeth situation and blah 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 so um i have some alphabet april stuff we can do i decided to do some of them smaller like real tiny to see if that can just like cut down the time i spend on them because i usually do like an alphabet april painting in a stream and I'm just, I'm, I haven't done any this month, so I was just trying to get them through. Because we're all, we're still on, oh, and I painted an Obi-Wan before and it went terrible. So I'm like really scared to do it again. So anyway, it's a really tiny sketch that I did. So I figured if I wanted to do Alphabet a April, Alphabet August, Alphabet, please just finish this in 2022. Um, I will, I don't know, try to make the size of thing. Alphabet November, right, right. Um, yeah, this is the the peach. Phantom convertible. I don't even know what that looks like. When you say phantom, that means nothing to my brain. So I have the alphabet August I could work on. And then also the treckle, like, dog pet portrait thing is a uh, finish at the end of August. So I have like, I bought a couple panels. So I still have other, like I did the one of Delilah, but I have other panels. So I could do a few more entries if I wanted to. So I could work on that. Cause that kind of has a time limit. The alphabet August really doesn't have a permanent time limit. I'm like, I should have finished it this month, but I'm probably not going to. So um, sorry, this is moving. Rolls Royce. Annual alphabet. There we go. That. That might work. <laughs> Cause, all right. So the alphabet April is a thing. And then the past two Septembers, I've done like 30, like a 30 day art challenge where I tried to make art every day for the entire month. And that didn't really have like a theme to it as much as it was just like make art. So I was thinking I could do the alphabet April challenge in September too. And that would help me get two of those things done at once. So that's where my mind's going for that. Um, and then like, I love this dogger so much. The one all the way to the right. Um, and then I made this last night. Uh, my other, I guess it's my turn. Um, sorry, I'm really having a hard time multitasking. 
I had like stickers made before that were like dogs. So this just makes me like think about like dog stickers again, but I have another sticker pack that I started and I still haven't finished. I don't actually know if I've, I think there's two sticker designs that I made, but I haven't ordered yet. So I think I have to do that. And then like that sticker pack will be done and then I can sell it. But I'm also in the process of trying to like get my website set up, but I kind of hit a roadblock that I have to like at the fix. And that's just been like outside of my mental capacity this past like week or so. So I'm really like, I'm spreading myself thin in a lot of ways. I'm not even making sense mentally with this train of thought, but um, there's so much art I want to make and so little fucking time. And then also Skella and I were sick this week. So it's just been like, we struggling. Uh, Beans foot, she got surgery. I think she's doing okay. I know she's like going kind of stir crazy. Cause like, She's stuck and like her thing was like her hobby was skating and now she can't skate. So I know she probably feels real trapped, but she's been playing Pokemon. She had a really good Pokemon Go day yesterday. Ah, thanks for the follow. So tired. Did you work today, Hugo? The last one on the left looks like an Egyptian jackal. Which was the last letter you left off? I, the last thing I did was N for Nancy from the craft. So the next one I'm going to do is um, Obi-Wan. I tried to do an Obi-Wan, I don't know, two months ago or something like that. And it went terribly. So I'm kind of scared to do it, but I'm going to do it. I like this angle of the face. Ugh. Okay. I think I'm done. I know that this one's really messy, but that was just messy in general. Huh. At Vorch, um, we can, we can, we can stream date. <laughs> That's the most I'd be given. We can have a date right now, an art date. I worked all week and then I was like, no, I'm not volunteering to do overtime. And it was mandatory this time. I am so sorry. That's such bullshit. I drove Bean. I'd give her my non-broken ankle leg if I could. Me too. We were talking about last night. She really fell so sexy. She like fell and was like, Ugh. and then was like, Looks so, look so hot while her leg was broken in the middle of the rink. It was. That's not what she wanted, but it's what happened. <laughs> We're all on a day right now. This is an art date. Um, so this is the doggers. We finished. I love this one. He's such a good boy. But, okay, now I can talk to you. I'm going to have to readjust the camera because this piece is a lot. Is it, is it a lot bigger of a size? It's a different size. It's a different type of thing that I have to do now. So basically, I also have to try to figure out, wow, I have so many thoughts at once and it's so much worse when I got to narrate them. Like I just be living my life not streaming and I don't have to narrate my thoughts. Like I really got to walk you guys through what I'd be thinking and that shit is a mess. I am so sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm trying to pull out my reference photo
This is what I did yesterday. Um, I used the Dremel. This is a commission that my friend asked for. And oh, you fucking bitch. I cut it because it was like a longer piece. So I cut it, uh, jigsaw cut it straight. And then I dremeled like some holes in it. And I have to paint Plank's face on it. So this is an Ed and Eddie commission and I'm nervous. I actually don't know if I can, yeah, it's going to be plank. It's for, why is this happening? Stop bullying me, camera. I'm being bullied. You are right, Finch. You always right. You know what's up. All right, so the thing that I'm kind of worried about is like the positioning of the face now. And I did have it so that- Hey, I'd rather you narrate your thought process than hear the anxiety-filled narration I have in my own head. I'm narrowing, I'm narrowing down the productive thoughts to share. Because I, de I definitely got the, the uh, anxiety-filled dialogue happening too, but. We're gonna get through this, Hugo. Thank you for the pennies. All right, I gotta go grab. I I'll be right back. <laughs> I had to go grab the white charcoal, and I think it's in the living room because that's where I was working on it. I don't know if she took one of the, if she took one of the grocery bags, but there's a grocery bag sitting there that she didn't take. So I don't know if she got the other one. And also I'm making you guys wait a sec while I switch my laundry. Also, my wait, mom has the water. plank I made when I was a kid. Oh, I should have switched the camera so you guys could have seen me do it. I took the cold boy one. There's another cold boy one. I was just concerned because I didn't know if he took one. Hi, Skeller. I just switched the laundry. Sorry. Also, my mom has the plank I made when I was a kid. Cute. That is actually one of the first pieces of art that Matt got from me. It was a resin plank drawing. Okay. 
Oh, okay, Sam coming through with the Corgi Biddies, with the 500 Corgi Biddies. Hi. Thank you. All right, I'm nervous. What if I don't get the spacing right? Try to highlight my name. All right, what if I, what if I, have this piece of tracing paper. It's a little off. It's a little off. But we can deal. This is my playlist, by the way. Skella and I made it. I found you. This new booty. Get back to me. I'm finally out of bitties with this one. Hugo, you miss new booty. There's so many meats. Get the pre-made Borgi burger. Uh, I just eat beef burgers. Get it to Oh, that was a terrible rip. Okay, anyway. I want to like sketch because I'm scared I'm going to do it and then it's not going to be right. Didn't get the bison burger. She trying to make me cry. Ah, my foot's a G. Why's my foot a G? Hi, Andy. But I cut this yesterday, so I, like, tried to make sure, because he has, like, the one crack right there. So I tried to do that. All right. Ah! My foot is so fucking itchy. Ah! My sister used to sing this song to my little nephew when he was a baby and his diaper was full. <laughs> For those of you that weren't here at the beginning of stream, I started stream with the Whisper song. That's how this playlist starts. Alright, I'm using... Get it right, get it set. I didn't start with uh, Reap What You Sew. I love when doctor's office calls to make an appointment and they say, we don't have any available this season. Next season, you can be, actually, you can come in at the season premiere. <laughs> I can't believe how, book like, were doctors always like this? I think it would be fun to make a plank that looks 2D. My friend wanted it, him to not be 2D, so. All right, I think that the eyes need to be closer together. I'm actually kind of scared to do this, but. Dun, 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 dun. 
I brought uh, Skella down an entire Beyonce rabbit hole. She's such a baby in this music video. Uh, no healthcare is stress and there was also a pandemic. Okay. Fair, fair. How could I forget about the pandemic? What fucking buns can you eat? This Whole Foods is a maze and a puzzle and a riddle. Um, fuck. I don't actually know what buns I can eat from that Whole Foods. Or from Whole Foods at all. I usually just check everything. Um, I know that I can eat buns from ShopRite. But that's not really helpful. That works, right? Alright. I have lechin. Fuck it, let's try. I haven't been a strike, so I guess. If it doesn't say like that soy is a allergen, then I usually try it now. Hi horse, what's up? Was there always paper on there and I really needed to get new glass? No, nope, not always paper. I showed my friend the vid of Skella verbally abusing me, by the way, uh, from the stream where we did the wig stuff. So did you like Lost or like the characters where you lost in the plot? I was lost. I'm still lost. Um, but I don't hate it. I'm definitely like... I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I think obviously that's the point. Um... I took someone else's car, I looked down and was pushing a bunch of plums! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, trip was good. I've been back for a little, little bit now. Um, we've just been sick. Ugh. All my brushes are like, frayed. All right, we gotta, I'm so nervous about doing this, but it's fine, it's fine, we're fine. Everything is fine. I can do this. I can do this, I can do this. I feel like something's off about the lighting. This is not the version I'm used to. Where's... So my slides keep coming off. What the frick? I'm struggling. I'm struggling out here, y'all. I don't know where my fucking light is. Oh, there it is. What's going on? Ugh. All right. 
Okay, all right, all right. Let's try this. You're gonna get a tattoo today. It was casual. Ah! <laughs> I just sat on my headphones. <laughs> that was really dramatic. That was really fucking dramatic. I really be putting this, these headphones, have headphones through it. There we go. I thought something looked fucking off. I don't like this version. What's going on across the sea? Um, fucking tits, man. That's not that cheap. Gotta start work now. Have a good day at work. I love you so much, Finch. I love you. Alright, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Eat! Thank you for the, the gay biddies. I can do this, Pew. Thank you. I was thinking about getting a tap from the tip of my pinky to the bottom of my palm, but like on the side. Oh, like this way? Like a line? Oh, my trash can isn't in here. Beep. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. I'm not gonna fuck it up. We gotta have some confidence. Confidence. All right. Huh. The wood was just like, nah, I'd rather not have paint on me. Thanks, bitch. He's about to be born, did. I don't know, part of me thinks that it should be like a little bit thicker. So it looks a bit more cartoony. I am, I am painting plank right now. Because it's like such a simple thing, it's like that much more intimidating. <laughs> and I just made it really thick that I didn't mean to. Fucker. I did not mean to make it like that. God damn it. Thank you for the raid. I think Ed and Eddie was the only Cartoon Network show you watched. I definitely hated Ed and Eddie as a kid. Like I still watched it, but it like repulsed me. 
And I get it more so now that, like, the line work is very, like, loose and crude. And a lot more, like, 90s than, like, a lot of the other, like, like cartoons in the early 2000s were, like, a lot more, like, bold and, like, crisp still lines but like that one was very like squiggly and movie and like i didn't like the art of it it really like made me uncomfortable and then also i fucking hated that their tongues were always different colors but now that i'm older i'm like duh they had jawbreakers that's why they were always different colors but kid me was just like why is their mouth green that's disgusting <laughs> hi prop how was your stream what were you working on thank you so much for the raid if you guys don't follow prop please do so we love we love all the artists, especially fucking dope ass artists. Like prop. Nice. Final Fantasy Commission. I love the art style of the show. I like the fact that the background was always the same and it was like transparent. Rocket Power, I actually have like a Reggie cosplay kind of ready to go if I wanted to. Alright. I'm actually going to skip this song. All right, I gotta do red now. Red. Because the one drawing of it is, like, very, like, thin. But then, like, if you look at the cartoon, it's, like, super chunky. So, we're gonna, we're gonna see. I loved this fucking song as a kid. So you had horrible taste as a kid? Ed and Eddie was life. Ralph was always a favorite. A stupid Ed boy. Son of a shepherd. He knew what was up. I definitely had particular taste. Testicular taste. Just kidding. My favorite cartoon as a kid was Aura Monsters. I like Crumb. I th I was like slightly too young for Aura Monsters. I like knew what it was, but it definitely like wasn't on regularly when I was a kid. Got everything? You found buns? I guess. 
I started some like series of art where I try I did a bunch of sketches and I wanted to make them real. Um, a bunch of like cartoon characters as like humanoid, like as humans. So I made one of Crumb that I really fucking like. I need to get back. I have like so many art ideas that I like start and then like I don't fully follow. Th like I started it because one of the ones of that series was um the Marge Simpson painting that I have. Which, I don't know if you can see that behind... Yeah, the Marge Simpson, like, human one. So I'm just out here starting shit and not finishing it. I'm always talking to myself, so you're not wrong, dragon. I don't know if I had a favorite cartoon. I'd say Courage the Cowardly Dog. But I liked a lot of those original Nicktoons. Courage scared the fucking shit out of me as a kid. Return of the Slab, bro. I kill all this up. I had to rewatch Samurai Jack. I do not remember it. So I got a new septum ring recently. It's like three, it's two rings and then there's like a chain that like hangs, but you can't really see. But ever since I got it, my nose smells so bad. I've had a septum ring for like almost 15 years now. This shit smells so bad. And it's a type of smell bad where like I can't stop messing with it because it smells bad. I have to order, like, two other wigs, so we should do, like, a wig order. It's fucking brutal. I only- the only face piercing I've had- actually, besides getting my nipples pierced, the only other piercing I've had is my septum, so, like, I can't escape the stank. It's just in my face, man. It's brutal. So this like red that I'm using is like, I don't know if it's cadmium. I don't know what the napal napal red light. Napthal? Napthal? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. It's like an orangey red, so I think it works real well for the cartoon look. Probably should have finished this side so I don't get my hand in it. Send me some pictures, okay. I have my septum pierced and no one warned me of the stink. I have my natural pierced too, so double stink. Emotional damage. I didn't know that, like, nostril piercings were stinky. My one nipple got in, in, infected, too. Well, not really, like... Not really infected as much as it just rejected. But I had the one like, yeah, I guess it was infected because it was like green. That shit was gnarly. And then I eventually just took it out even though I really didn't want to. And I'll probably never get a pierce again. But I got a new, um, let's just talk about piercings. I got a new septum ring because I needed one the one that i was using was like a really cheap metal and it just like wasn't good and i have wanted a new one so i bought a new septum ring and then i also got a new nibble ring
Hi, Dot. I'm doing well. How are you? I was just talking about my exciting new nipple ring. Um, because I've only ever had like the bars in it. There, I got my nipples pierced with a bar, and then like basically that's all I've had. But then recently I was like, I want to put like a ring ring. So now I have like a like a like an actual ring in my nipple, and I like it a lot. It feels very like I don't know. 90s. It's definitely different though. Can't figure out the change mine. I went to the piercing place and they did it for me. Cause you have to like a lot of them are threaded, so like you have to it's just I I'm grossed out by anything going through my skin. So I was I was very happy that the piercer did it for me. For $500, would you suck your best friend's toes? I'd do that shit for no dollars. Maybe I'll get my nipples done when I'm 40 and can afford new titties? No, get them done now so you like your titties. I was always insecure because one of my nipples is inverted. Um, which means that it just like doesn't get hard. So my nipples were always like uneven. So that's why I got my nipples pierced to like make them even. And then it made me like them. There's a little fucking bug that's been tormenting me. I don't think I got it. I had a hoop in my nipple like as soon as I could. And the first thing I did was toss on my wig and send Nick in the mirror. <laughs> I do have Buffalo Bill with <laughs> with the one nip now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> And clerks, yeah. I found Jay inside the Bob Stripe back. Um, on VHS. I haven't found clerks, though. So. <laughs> This is my number one song on Spotify. Plank's full name is Plankerton. I bet you could tell us stories for days about how annoying men hit on her because she's so femme. Yeah, I'd be out here fucking like ready to fight people.
Skell and I went to Home Depot so I can get wood for this yesterday. And the fucking, we walked by these employees and they were like, are y'all having a party? And we like, we like, our sick just rolled out of bed and this motherfucker was asking us if we were having a party. And I'm just like. Spare me, please. You work at Home Depot? Tragedy. I have to stretch. I will I will let you have that though. Yeah, fucking creep merch, dude. She told him <laughs> She told him he was a bad kisser, so at least she got to roast him. Make you feel good. We gotta stretch, y'all. We gotta stretch. We gotta stretch, Redeem. We gotta stretch. Make you feel good. Make you feel good. Make you feel good. Thanks. Found this love, baby. <coughs> we can do it. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's peace tea. Just peachy. I like Joe tea peace or peach better, I think. But Whole Foods has been out of it every time I've gone. Me. It needs to slow it down. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for the follow, Lumen. Thank you. All right, I've been working out. And like, I also got hella armpit hair. But like, the lighting's doing me dirty, but like, look at my little guns. I got little baby guns. I be trying. My triceps are fucking sore right now. I'm trying to be lean beef patty. That was me on my best friend's Twitch. Thanks for following. <laughs> Permit. None. No, it's lean beef sammy because get it because i'm sam and i'm it's a sandwich so instead of a patty it's a lean lean beef sammy <laughs> i'm trying my best i'm dead inside <laughs> working out too nice I, be, I can do push-ups now. I've never been able to do push-ups. Like, I haven't been able to do push-ups since I was, like, fucking 10. I do push-ups now. And not the, like, me ones. Like, push-ups. Soy free Sammy. <laughs> uh, 
I love this song. My friend wants this to be yellow. I've been having big body appreciation time of my life. My body brought me a long ways. I need to stop worrying about this and that. Yes. Even if it's not like body positivity, I've been striving for body neutrality. So at least I'm like not hating it, you know? Like body positivity, we got a lot of factors we got to overcome with society and shit. But like at least if you're just like thankful, like your body has gotten you through 100% of your worst days. That's kind of dope. That's kind of cool. It's doing its best. We ain't got to be so mean to it, you know? It's my favorite song. Turn this up and turn this on. There ain't no what's up, huh? 